Hey everyone, Andrew from Curse here, and it's time to take a look at a hero build for Rook, the Elven Archer. Upon spawning, I typically start off by purchasing basic boots and two health elixirs, which will help me sustain as I typically find myself in a solo lane with Rook. If I do happen to duo lane and we are going to be aggressive and secure kills and assists early, I will sometimes pick up an early Reaver's Scythe, but in a solo lane, I typically won't. As laning continues, I finish off my boots into Fervor Boots, granting 50 movement speed and 25 attack speed. Be sure to use Fervor Boots Active, which increases your movement speed by 80 and to gain unit walking for 3 seconds. Use it often as it's only on a 13 second cooldown. As farming continues, 90% of the time I will start to build a Demon Fang, providing Rook with power, attack speed, and when finished, an additional 18 attack damage. If you have a harder time in lane with an opponent, I will sometimes build a Thunder Collar. Its 25% chance to cause Chain Lightning can secure Brawler kills and bound to hit enemy champions telling them to back off. Next I start building my first few late game damage items, starting off with either a Wound Splitter or a Crushing Mace. The Wound Splitter will grant power and attack speed and when completed will give 10 additional attack damage. It will also give the user a 20% chance to deal 2 times the damage on attack. Late game this item will have a great effect as you will have more attack speed. The Crushing Mace is a great item to get next if you're looking for a little bit of health and power and will give the user 5 attack damage. Basic attacks also ignore 40% of the enemy's armor. Crushing Mace is a must-have item, especially against tankier teams. If I make it into the late game and need to round out the build, I usually pick up a Zealot's Blade. Derived from an agility relic granting attack speed and a health shard, once its recipe is finished it will also increase attack speed by 27 and your movement speed by 35, allowing Rook to kite and help benefit his attacks due to the massive attack speed boost. As for strategy when I'm playing Rook, he can use his kit both offensively and defensively, so a creative player will be rewarded for thinking outside the box in certain situations. Kite backwards with your hooks to keep fighting with low health to keep the engagement going. Or use your hook to jump over typically impassable terrain. Also a keen eye can help secure or set up kills with his deliverance from across the map. As for pet preference, I suggest Razor for the attack damage to help with his burst potential and its elusive active to provide you with cover while escaping. I also like Pincer. The anti-harass is helpful while in lane and the ability to break crowd control is a nice way to save your skin. Thanks for watching how we like to play Rook. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more MOBA coverage. And until next time, enjoy the game.